Alright guys, Weekly World 14 coming at you. We had a busy week, really busy week. But a few things done. Yeah. Not much, but uh, a few things. You know, just just the entire assembly, not a big deal. The entire scoop array is now hanging on the driving shaft. So we have it together. It probably took us 90 minutes, maybe two hours. We ran into a few snags with... Uh, some tapped holes that weren't quite straight, but we know how to fix those going forward. And My fault. My uh, fault. <laughs> it's tough to tap a hole and be perfectly yeah. 90 degrees, you know, perfectly up and down in the Z-axis. So going forward, they're going to be rigid tapped on the machines. We won't have anything to worry about with that. That's what prototyping is all about, figuring out how to do things, how to do it better, and then more efficiently so that when you go to the next one, you're twice as fast. And the next one, you're twice as fast again. I know I did a little bit of a... Uh, you know, hey guys, this is why I built the machine shop before, but this is why we built the yeah. machine shop, so that we could bang these parts out, both the prototype mode, and then move directly into low volume production. Our first couple prototypes, we're gonna be learning, we're gonna be tweaking, we're gonna be improving the process, and that's what it's all about. I'm not even wearing my harmony. Prototype. I know, I saw. Why did you say something to me? <laughs> He's, we've been I'll busy, do, we've been busy. I'll do another, part of the weekly world tomorrow. We have the interns coming in Friday. Josh is not going to be here with us tomorrow, but the interns Taking the animals to the vet tomorrow, so. Yeah. At any rate, um, that's pretty much it. We're going to be working on the frame assembly, ordering parts, and getting those in to build the frame next week. So it's, it's coming yeah. together here. And yeah. I hope you, the audience, and our followers see just how quickly things are coming together now that we're done building the shop and we're working on the prototype 100 percent that's yeah. what it's all about now we can fab whatever we need to fab if something comes up and say hey we need to fix this part make this piece we have the ability to do that now that everything's up and running so if a scoop's broken whatever we can go and weld another scoop up it's gonna be wonderful all right, we wanted to do a little bit of video on our horizontal milling machine. We got that working this past week and wanted to just show the process where we're cutting the keyways into the furling shaft. It was a pretty interesting process. The horizontal mill is a keyway cutting beast. It really is a machine that's perfectly suited for cutting keyways into shafts. The guy in yellow there, I have to give a shout out to my brother-in-law, Brian. I'm sorry, Brian, we were so busy, you know, trying to film and get good footage of our process that we didn't even stop to think to let you say hello on camera and give you a proper introduction there, a proper spotlight. So all you see is a bunch of our, our big fat bellies as we're running around the, the machine here. So apologies to Brian, but Brian came in on, um, I think that was Tuesday and helped out around the shop for the whole day. So that was a really nice thing to have an extra third set of hands there and get the horizontal mill working while we cut the keyways in. Here we have some scoops ready to go on the scoop array assembly and the beginning process of that. Like we said earlier in the video, it was about a 90 minute process from beginning to end where we began loading up the scoops and getting them all assembled and locked in with the keyways to the furling shaft so that they could all function in unison. This is a quality product here, folks. This isn't something that you put together like an Ikea bookshelf. This is going to be done by professionals, by our machine shop, and as we expand and look to move into higher and higher volumes of production, it's going to be done at the shops by qualified technicians, qualified engineers, as we put this together, as we fabricate the products. So that's what Harmony Turbines is going to stand for. It's not going to be some piece of junk that is out there generating power in your yard. This is a serious piece of equipment that's going to be generating power for your home. And you can see as we kind of learn a little bit here, a little bit there, learn the tricks of how to line it up, even during the assembly of this very first prototype, we were already learning, oh, if we do this, it's easier. If we do that, it it's, keeps going together quicker and quicker as we're going. And as I'm talking, you can see each scoop is going faster and faster and faster as we do the next one and the next one. And that's a really cool thing to see because right there before your eyes, you're seeing the fruits of that labor the fruits of that good engineering and that good quality workmanship as it goes together
Pretty impressive, isn't it, guys? It's actually beautiful to look at. Yeah. It is so well balanced, it blows me away. It does. All right, guys, Weekly World 14, we have our three interns and the new mascot here. This is our mascot, Jax. Say hi, Jax. Say hi. <laughs> hi, buddy. So, uh, guys, what do you think? This is the first time you've been in the shop for a while. It's coming along. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you like, you like what you're seeing back there? Yeah? Jax is trying to figure it out. So, um, Ezra and Noah in the background here. Ben is going to be joining us momentarily. We should have probably waited a few minutes to do this, but Nate has to get out of here. So, we're going to have some interns visiting us. Probably, I don't know, we might keep Fridays as uh, Intern Friday and uh, use Friday for training and teaching and have our interns come down and learn machining and welding and fabrication, whatever it is they want to do. I don't know how excited you guys are for, for that, but yeah. yeah. Do you think welding, CAD, CAM? Yep, we can, we'll do our best to train you on everything we know and let you learn. Nate, what do you want to learn here? Or? I just want to get better at welding. Yeah, welding, that's your thing? All right. What do you think Jax wants to learn? Uh, how to eat, sleep, and poop. Pretty much <laughs> How to stay away from the metal chips I in guess, here. Yeah. yeah. We have to be really careful with him around that. Yeah. Alright, so we have Ben here, our final intern for Intern Friday. And Ben is uh, going to be looking to specialize in a few different things here with us at Harmony Turbines. What are you uh, hoping to do, hoping to get into, Ben? That's right, everybody. I am, my name is Ben, as you already stated. I am hoping to look into the embedded systems of Harmony Turbines and I can hopefully, hopefully help uh, Harmony do things such as make their wind turbines as efficient as possible, as well as make sure they don't break. Uh, I really look forward to spending as much time as I can here to help these guys out, and I look forward to getting, giving these wind turbines to you guys. So what's on the table here that is familiar to you, Ben? So what's on the table here is this Arduino Uno. It's a microcontroller uh, that can control things like stepper motors and limit switches, which allows us to make the Harmony turbines turbine as efficient as possible uh, by furling and unfurling. Yep. So this here is just a gearbox, but um, that's, that's, that's a little... 30 to 1 worm gear box, and then inside of the box over here we have a few other goodies for controller boards and things like that that'll tie into the uh, stepper controls and things. So should be everything we need to get going to actually move that motor and uh, program the logic between the Arduino and the motor control boards I think will be good so sound like a task that you're ready to yes to handle does. and you're going to college at uh, I'm going to college at Michigan Technological University and I plan on majoring in computer engineering very cool all right thanks Ben all right so we have our second intern spotlight here we have Noah Noah you want to introduce yourself and uh, tell a tiny bit about yourself so my name's Noah um, I just graduated from Palmyra last year. I'm headed to the Upper Peninsula to go to Michigan Technological University with my twin. And I plan on, however, majoring in mechanical engineering, unlike him. Um, I've always taken an interest in engineering. I used to want to be a civil engineer, but ever since I started working here and joining my robotics team, I switched over to mechanical. Very cool. Anything around you that's familiar or looks like it might be fun for you to get into here on your on our intern Fridays. I'm excited to learn about these vertical mills. You know, if an engineer doesn't know how tools and parts are made, he can't design them. So right. definitely a great experience here. Yeah, and what about this stuff behind me? Anything of interest there? These CNCs are definitely these. pretty exciting. I'm really excited to learn the CAD and the CAM, Just learn how to use them and operate them. Old, but hey. Yeah, they're a little old, but they are fully functional and they should be really good teaching tools, so. Oh, yeah. Cool, very cool. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to help you guys out as best we can. So thank you for, for coming and finding us and having an interest in learning and improving 
both your future and the future of hopefully everyone who's watching this. There you go. Okay. Here we have Ezra. Ezra is one of our interns for uh, our intern Friday or whatever day Ezra wants to show up. I think you're going to be on a little different schedule, right? Fridays work for me, but okay. So Ezra, where where are you from? Where are you going? Um, I'm a Hershey High School graduate. Um, right now, I'm a student at your College of Engineering uh, or your College of Pennsylvania uh, for mechanical engineering. Okay. And what would you like to focus on here when you come in and show up to help out around here? Uh, for me, it's mostly manufacturing fabrication. Uh, that stuff is what really got me into mechanical engineering, and it's what I'd like to do more of. Okay. Anything that you see behind you that's of uh, particular interest? Both of these machines right here. Okay. Uh, they are really, really cool machines. Yeah? I would love to learn how to use them. All right, cool. Well, we'll do our best to get you trained up and get you as much experience as you can stand and um, we also have CAD cam and you know just the CNC the whole gamut yeah you know we're a one-stop shop here that is friendly to any and all people who are trying to better themselves and help make the world a better place we have a uh, lathe and horizontal mill over there too so yeah. I don't know if that stuff's exciting to you but I manual stuff is definitely something I want to have in the back of my pocket cool yeah, yeah. all right well, thank you, Ezra. Yep. Thank you, everyone, for believing in us. Thank you for following us and sticking with us through the thick and thin. Uh, we're doing everything that we can to put the information out in a timely and efficient manner to you to show you where we are with the progress, how we're proceeding, and uh, what our next steps are. So for believing in us, for sticking with us, we thank you all. And uh, that being said, thank you, and we'll catch see you on in the next, next world. world. Harmony Turbines, we now have the power to change the world. All right. What? I forgot to hit record. Did you really? No. <laughs>